So apparently I totally missed this when it came out in February, but uh, India, there's a place in India that they seized over 200 tons of marijuana and there's this video of all of it going up in flames. Check this out. That's crazy. $53 million worth of uh, marijuana was burned here. Can you imagine the smell around that area? Can you imagine it just being like lingering in the air for so much longer after this? It's an amazing thing. That's in February of this year. Can't believe I missed it. Can't believe we didn't smell it. Hey guys, how are you? It's 420 somewhere. Uh, today's first story, we're gonna be talking about the cease and desist letters that have gone out to those unlicensed dispensaries in New York and mainly in New York City. Uh, you see a bunch, some are actually brick and mortar uh, stores called Weed World, some are in trucks, but most of them deal with uh, some sort of donation system where you donate money and then they give you weed. Uh, there's a lot of quotes around that. Or you uh, buy a t-shirt and they give you weed along with the t-shirt, things like that, that kind of create loopholes around you technically not selling marijuana. However, it, nobody's really buying it. And the Cannabis Control Board in uh, New York has sent out, in the past, they sent out letters to uh, about 24 of these different businesses saying you need to stop uh, selling weed, you need to stop doing this, or you're going to jeopardize your potential, your possibility of getting a uh, license when the market actually opens up sometime in the fall or in the winter. And uh, that didn't really do anything. And now they've sent another batch, but this time it's showing that it's not just a few businesses that are ha that are consistently creating a problem. They sent more than double the amount of letters this time around, showing that the uh, problem is actually growing in stature. So we have a bunch of unlicensed businesses that just continue to go and they're kind of calling the bluff of the control board saying, you're not gonna do anything. Whereas the control board is saying, well, uh, you A, are jeopardizing your potential to get licenses when we do open that up, which that one they can easily enforce. I don't see any problem with that. The other one that they say is that if they can continue to uh, sell marijuana, they will risk a huge fine and potential criminal uh, penalties, which that would be a pretty bad look for New York. So I'm not sure if they would even go that far. And I think these businesses are going to continue calling their bluff until hopefully they can get licenses uh, when it does open up. They actually also sent out a uh, press release at the same time of these letters being sent out, which makes sense because again, they don't want to make it seem like they're against marijuana. They want to really kind of explain their position here and uh, part of the letter says there are no businesses currently licensed to sell adult use cannabis in New York State selling in any item or taking a donation and then gifting a customer a bag of untested cannabis does indeed count as a sale under New York's cannabis law so getting rid of rid of any uh, gray area there there is no gray area and they think that they're creating these loopholes around the law but they're actually not and the control board is like we're not having any of that so we'll see what happens here if there are actually any repercussions for these uh, businesses in the future, that would be fascinating. Finally, we have a story that is uh, weed adjacent and weed adjacent in a way where if you're high, this stuff is actually as incredible as it should be. And that is the release of the first photos from, from the Webb telescope today. Um, they are a doozy. And it's not only that that it's something that we've never seen before. Some of these images we have actually seen before by the Hubble telescope. However, the amount of definition, the color, the uh, just the, the detail that we're seeing in these photos is beyond anything we've ever seen before. And when more and more photos come in, we as the world will learn much more about space and about the universe. And it's crazy to think about this stuff. And like, I, I can't even remember the last time in my lifetime where we've had more and new detail and new information being learned about space at such a large volume. These images really are absolutely stunning. Um, I kind of wish they were a little bit more high definition. Yes, they're, they are high definition, but I wish that you, I wish they were like, like gigantically high definition, like 10K, that we could really, really zoom in there and see things, um, but it, they're not quite there yet. But hopefully we will start to see some really extremely high def stuff coming from this telescope soon. Um, but I thought I would just leave this episode with some really beautiful images of this telescope. So I think we're gonna just do that now and uh, then we will sign off so then I'll see you later this week enjoy these images of space
you held a grain of sand on the tip of your finger at arm's length, that is the part of the universe that you're seeing, just one little speck of the universe.